Pokemon Shield here. We have reclaimed our lost power from our setback a few episodes ago. We got 37, 34, 32, 35, 35, 32. It's like we're a big gym leader champion ourselves. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit higher level than the team we had before. And hopefully that'll be enough to not, you know, die to the double battle of, like, cute fluffy Pokemon. So, yeah. Uh, guess we're going to get going. I've been grinding for years, so I forgot what we're going in here for, but the chairman's in here, and he's a good guy, so we're going to go across this moat, and it's going to be a great time. What'd I tell you? He's got his cool shorts on. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. was not expecting that, but I do have a nice coat on, don't I? Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. Uh, sure, if you say so. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's charged into electricity in the underground power plant. People throughout the, oh, nah, I did, I messed it up again. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in Wishing Stars. Oh, Liana or whatever her name is, she's, I don't like her. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. See, you can't, you, she's jealous that the chairman is uh, talking to me and giving me attention. She can't handle it. Look at her face. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Normie girl, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. I thought there was a Pokemon in here. Challenge, gym thing. Sorry, only authorized personnel allowed to take a lift down to the power plant. Something tells me we'll be coming back here later. Mr. Rose is wonderful, so gentlemanly, I agree. Here's a Pokemon thing. Guy, Pokeball, we're going to talk to him. Welcome to the uniform shop. Are you looking for anything in particular? No. No. I'm done. Okay, goodbye. What's this guy talking about? Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? Let's see. I need some more of these, probably. Let's buy, like, I don't know, random number. Thank you. Goodbye. Pokeball friend. Hey there, thanks for rolling by and to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. Anytime. It looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect puff ball to celebrate the occasion. Level ball. Is that a new Pokeball? Pokeball makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are a lower level than your Pokemon. Level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's levels compared to the opposing wall Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Pokeballs are just full surprises. And sent yes, they are. They contain, you contain literal monsters, but that's fine. Goodbye, Pokeball guy. One day I'll grow up to be just like you. You need to gather seven gym badges if you want to face off dragon type user Rayhan. Okay. I only need like four more. Nothing wrong with that. I guess this is the last big boy gym leader. We need to go Route 6, I was told. So, I guess we'll go to Route 6 because the game's very linear. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but you know, it's. Team Yell's just occasionally, you know, in the way, but now they're going to be magically gone. So it's going to be a great time. Champion! Normie girl, it seems like you're doing well collecting gym badges. You betcha. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He got beaded. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard losses in battle. He lost to that challenger bead. God, I shouldn't have told on him. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps, but then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You got to think why it was your loss, though. Yeah, I got killed by like a slow pup or something. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast. Look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Eliana really lets me hear it from when I'm late. Now if only I can remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Rayhan while you're here. I tried. He's the greatest rival got in the final hurdle you'll fight as a gym boy. He should be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way on Route 6. I can catch a Pokemon. 
Hopefully it's a good one because I need it really bad. And everybody is always in a hurry in this game. Fair enough, I guess, right? Okay, I'm excited. Team Yell is going to magically not be there anymore. We're going to have a great time. I want to go swim in the moat. I don't actually want to go swim in the moat. Beautiful Pokemon Center. Why did this guy tell us we couldn't come in here again? Oh, that's right hand. That's right hand. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What was your name again? Uh, Normie Girl. Oh, he's got his fancy tablet thing. Oh, right, Normie Girl. And if Leon himself recognizes your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty right hand has to prove that they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first, because he's a big shot. I already knew that. Ah, oh, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me. Why don't you? Is this the vault? I thought I had to go down like Route 6. I've not left the city. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Thanks, friend. I, I, this is what I've been looking forward to for years. Now on you go. It's the vault you want. It's up the stairs here. That's not Route 6. It's not Route 6 at all. What's this lady say? I'm like used to be the very center of the Gala region. It kind of still is, according to the map, but okay. We keep historical treasures in the vault. It's just up the stairs there. Caught Couch King. You need permission if you want to enter the vault. I've got it. Can I go through this? No. Vault time. Oh God. Those trees are beautiful, if not a little flat. Do you think I didn't see that? Charm. That does something. Use the gaze of the target rather charmingly and lowers attack. Okay, I will never use that. Never, ever. You gonna magically go this way? No. Vault time. Oh, there's our friend Sonia. We have not seen her in quite a while, actually. I miss her. JK. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Gala's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. Two bewildered youths. The youths looking on the sword and shield to stop the disaster. The youths being crowned. Okay. So there's a disaster and you, you shield it. Gotcha. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of the kingdom of Galar. Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to the most about them? Yeah. Right, that's gotta be it. The story of the black storm that blotted out the skies was passed on through the years as a tale of disaster. That's what the darkest day is. Nice green nails, though. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? Are you? Okay. And what even caused the darkest day? We just look at the damn past pastries. Pastries, I mean tapestries, okay. There was two. One out of sword, one out of shield. I'm the shield person because I got Pokemon shield. Okay, Sonya, are you dumb? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. And I think I've got series now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see you win stuff. Um, thank you for that. Big ribbon. Is this what we came up here for? Just to look at these blokes. See, I said blokes because it's set in England. Uh, yeah. To just that nice tapestries, I guess. I thought we'd, you know, there would be something cool up here. Like an Arbok. I'm not as impressed as you think I should be. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of Galar Region's past. I suppose if you got any modern heroes, it'd be our champion Leon. Listen up, Norma girl. Your, girl, your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon. You go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on Side. Now nice city name, I guess, right? Stow on Side. Perfect. Bye, friend. I want to go in this garden. Let me in here. I'm not allowed to go in the garden, am I? Can I sit on this bench? Did not expect to be able to sit on the bench. I'm watching you, game. We came here before. This just goes down to Watertown. Okay, Route 6, engaged. 
So it's still on side, this like alien saucer on the map. Okay, Route 6. I'm going to get stopped on this bridge, 100% guarantee it. Just you wait. Okay, it's not on the bridge, but it's pretty close. What a cute, silly cobra. Cobra. It's not an Arbok, though. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure that Silly Cobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep. I love that. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. That's so kind of you. Oh, hey, Norma girl. You're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi. Oi, meet. Team Yell. Don't suppose you'll let us through? Now, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. This guy's like stomping in some kind of rage. And we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge badge. I've already defeated Marnie, okay? With all your stomping around, so the club is cheer to wake up. Right. Uh, what do you say, Norman girl? If you don't get past them, we won't be able to go to Stow on side. I'll battle them. Yeah, that's the... Oh, I meant to say we'll battle them because we're best friends. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicon Cobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days, we'll get no choice. Fight but... me! Oh, did I have a choice of, like, double battles or not? Well, then I will never pick the double battle. I hate double battles. Don't even get me started on triple battles. All right, well, um, I'm, like, eight levels ahead of you, so I guess I'll just play well. Maybe I grinded too much on this one. I needed a new, like, cool guy. Oh, God, have I died? Don't be hurting my long boy. Big cheeks. Linoon. That's a dark Pokemon or something, right? What? I'm saying not Cheek Boy. I don't know why I'd switch, but I'd, I'm I'm leery. Okay, I don't want my Pokemon dying. I don't want to have to go grind for another six hours. Maybe I should though. I mean, I have a couple of 32s that could probably stand to be grinded up a little bit. But you know, you know how it be. Body slam. No mercy. Okay, of course, you know, you would leave that. That's fine. Um, I'm using this. We might have like a berry, man. You never know. That's spooky looking. My attack has fallen. Nothing scarier than seeing a squirrel come at you like that. Thank you. Team Yo Grunt defeated. Blimey, mate. Even your battles are too noisy. Think I'll leave this to you, Norma girl. Keep up the pace. Oh god, he's so mad because I didn't want to team up with him. I would have teamed up with him, but I, I wasn't thinking, okay? Sorry, Hop. Sorry, not sorry. Long boy, are you eight levels above this Pokemon? Pretty close. Flame will. Fake out. Thank you for that. Flame will. God, how fast is that cat? That's a fast cat. I think we're so mad if it missed. Butthead is almost a valued member of the party, but he's not. Uh, why do you why do you have to be such a bother? I don't know what voice that was, but it was a good one, wasn't it? Uh, Silly Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Its eyes are open, maybe. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Okay. Uh, Normal girl, you and Sinuscorch were brilliant together. One day you'll be just like me, Hop. With a level 37 Pokemon. See, Beard really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I could take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. Then what's the problem, mate? But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud. Oh no, being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of my head. He's a mean guy, isn't he? If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. 
but I don't want that. I want to be a big boy champion. I'm going to have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, my girl. That's not even an Arbok. Oh god, we've woke it up. I'm sorry. He's pissed. You're one of the gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Oh god, how did, how did she get there? How did she get there? She's like a wizard. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. I would love to. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. That's not creepy or awkward or anything. That's fine. Fine. Glad I could help. She's moving real slow until she just teleports around like a wizard. Okay, we're at Route 6. Um, need to switch out my giant centipede beast. Swap it for Cheek Boy. Alright. Is there a good poke? This lady's going to want to fight me. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Did I read that right? Well, you're going to have to buy me dinner first, if that's true. Because I have a, a squirrel that's kind of lonely. Not that lonely, though. Alright. Um, body slam. Engage. Whoops, what happened there? I like how the random chef was level 37 and now everything else is 29. It seems fair. But fate no, I will wreak my vengeance. Bodyslam.com. Metronome! What are you gonna do? Dragon Pulse. That sounds spooky. I hope you don't kill me. You always have to hold your breath when they use a Dragon Pulse. Okay, we're gonna Body Slam once more. From the heart. Don't you do it, don't kill me. Horn. Is that a one hit KO kind of thing? Why didn't that affect me? That's a one hit KO. I think. Well, I'm glad it missed. I would've been um, fairly triggered. Cause that would've been bullshit. Your Pokemon way too strong, you'll be safe no matter where you go. Yeah, you almost one-shot my Pokemon, but thank you, though. But who's growing up? Butthead, I mean. Roserade. That's a Roserade. It's a good Pokemon. I think. It uses a different poison in each hand separately when it attacks. The stronger its aroma, the healthier it is. I bet you got a strong aroma. Poison Sting. Um, isn't that like a, a Weedle move from like level 4? This does like 4 damage. We're not learning Poison Sting. Can you learn a useful attack? Please? I would like to get rid of my Toxic Rope. Because it's not very impressive. Um, who should I put up here? Let's put Big Gary up here. He, there's an electric Pokemon. I've seen it. It's a Helioptile. You know, let's put this up here to catch a Pokemans. All right, give me a random encounter. That's good, sir. Good random encounter. Still a cobra. I don't think that's what I wanted. I wanted an electric Pokemon, sir. I guess we'll leave with a stun spore. Glare? That paralyzes me, doesn't it? It's an uncommon move. You don't see it very often. Maybe you do. I don't, though. Uh, can you swift him, sir? Bulldog. This might be a good Pokemon. I, is it? Is that a ground Pokemon? If that is a ground Pokemon, that might not be too bad. Plus, he's got shed skin. This just keeps getting better. 
All right, let's send out a good Pokeball because I don't want to be here for 15 years. Um, I guess we'll send our Great Ball. By good Pokemon, I mean like a slightly better Pokeball. Gotta push the A button correctly. We want it bad. Got him. All right, so I may have had some preconceived notions that I need an electric Pokemon, but this guy's a bulldozer boy, so it might be a good thing. Plus, we can get rid of that crappy Toxicroak and maybe have a good team again. And then it'll get desecrated again. It spews sand from its nostrils so while the enemy has bonded. It burrows into the ground to hide. Yes. Um, he, he did a bulldozer, so we're going to call him Dozer or Dozy. It's going to be Dozy because it was the guy that was dozing peacefully. And I ruined it. I'm going to add this to my party. And we're going to get rid of this Toxicroak. Probably. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of Toxicroak. Espy's not really pulling its weight so far. And Butthead just evolved, so maybe it will. But we're going to get rid of Toxicroak. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is um, run back to this Pokemon Center. So I can have functional Pokemon. Since we're not really worried about catching a Pokemon anymore. And then we can, you know be powerful people. Hemlock's kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty. I seen a shiny. Don't think I didn't see that. Where you see my snake. I have like three snake Pokemon. That's awesome. I wonder, is Silicobra even like a good Pokemon? I don't actually know. Because I didn't, I didn't, that's not what I wanted to do. Two X attacks. Okay, I have like a big boy sand or something to power up ground attacks, I think. It's somewhere. Soft Sand. Give two Pokemon. Dozy. I haven't even looked at its attacks. I probably should. It has Bulldoze. And that's almost an Earthquake. I pushed the wrong button. Okay, let's try it again. Um, it's got good defense. And good basic attack, I guess. Shed skin seems pretty useful, though. Bulldoze, headbutt, glare, and dig. Those are actually... This seems solid. Like, let's compare these stats. 51, 53, and a bunch of 35s to... This guy. Okay, well, it's, it's quite different, but this guy is like seven levels above it. Also, like, it's it's pretty. It's it's just it's a giant. Okay, stop being mean. He needs trained up and stuff. Okay. He's. Did I I pick this up? I, I have like really short term memory. What is it? I I'm not doing these things. I caught myself a silly cobra. I sure did. I don't know how to get rid of those. Oh, okay, maybe that's how. Maybe not. Okay, well, um, we made progress. I talked to a bunch of people and caught a snake. We're going to pull out the snake next time. Bye.